Hey guys, welcome back to another episode here on Banished. We're back here in Rubyville, of course. So, last episode, guys, we uh, we did a couple things. We built some more food supply out here. We're doing pretty good. We're still at 2,000. Uh, however, it's still late winter, so we'll see how that lasts until we do a big harvest of our wheat fields and stuff like that. And uh, we also built a forester lodge out here, and he's set to only plant. Uh, I read somewhere that they're supposed to help with the uh, gatherer's hut and stuff. So we're just using this person as a guinea pig at the moment uh, just to see if it's going to work. And if it does, we're going to replicate him to all our gatherer's hut. That's one, two, three, four, four of them. Yeah, four. <laughs> so what I want to do this episode, guys, is I want to build a market. However, if we take a look at it, you can see that uh, it has a radius. It's a pretty big radius. As you can see, it's about double the size of your normal radius of... Uh, like a hunting lodge or something like that. So if we put him all the way out here, you're seeing we're missing a lot of homes there. It isn't that bad because we got four right here, but that's quite a problem. And there's nowhere else we can we can put it. Like we can't get rid of these these fields here, and we don't want to put it out here because I mean we're getting a lot of those homes, but that's that's going to impact our hunting lodge and our uh, our gatherer's hut. So what I was thinking about doing, obviously, it's not going to fit here. It's not going to fit back here over here or anything I kind of played around with it to see uh, and we can't get rid of this this storage barn of those houses and the blacksmith and stuff so unfortunately it looks like this uh, pasture is gonna have to go uh, this is about the only logical place I can think of now what we can do is since we're gonna get rid of it we can put the market here which is cool we can get rid of this pasture and we can go ahead and empty it and get them all over here and then I'll go ahead and max this one out, and then we can build another one right here. So uh, this one's going to intersect a little bit with the hunting lodge, but it should be fine. But we can build another 20 by 20 one here, and uh, that'll then we can do our splitting uh, that way. It's a little bit of a travel to there, but you know what can we do? So that's what we're going to accomplish this episode, guys. So let's go ahead and let's get started. Let's go ahead and resume the game. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and empty this one. We're going to cut back down to one. And we're going to go ahead and take this one out. And we're going to remove this structure. Like so. And all these cows are going to come over here into this one eventually. And uh, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to get our market ready. Because that one uh, gets, gets uh, demolished pretty quickly as you can see. It's almost done. There we go. So here's where our market's going to go right here. So let me explain what a market does is that instead of storing everything in a storage barn, uh, the market is actually uh, where everybody's going to bring their stuff. And what's good about a market that I was reading around on is that people hoard less. So that if you see here, all these people have all this food, well, people will actually have less food in their houses so that we have more to distribute. So. That's always nice. So what we're going to do to take up this area back here is we're actually going to build a crop field. Let's we'll see how big we can make it. Pretty big. So we're just going to build another one right here. And uh, it's still spring, so we're going to get another guy here. Whoop, nope, come back. Hey, stop. Uh, we're going to bring this guy down to one. This guy's probably going to need two, so let's bring this up to two. And that'll be good. So this guy's going to need two because it's a lot bigger. So this guy, he's probably not going to get very harvested because it's already spring. We, we really needed to start this in winter just to make sure that they have enough time. But uh, yeah, so that'll make up for that. So let's go ahead. Let's build another pasture here. So if we just follow this across and we build a 20 by 20 there. We'll go ahead and get that one going. There we go. The market's actually almost done. They're doing it pretty quickly since it's in town. That's where everybody lives. <laughs> so they're pretty quick to get it done. Let's see. And as soon as these guys are done... Oh, they got a lot of trees to remove out there, but that's okay. It'll actually get us our, uh, our log count up a bit. So, And then something else these guys can be working on as well. This is if we come here... We want to kind of see where they end. So like this whole area. 
We'll get them to take those trees out as well. And that'll be good. This guy doesn't have anything, so we'll go ahead and let's add a market person. And with our town size, I think we can get away with just one. We can have up to 12 if we have a huge town. Uh, but we're not, we don't have that big of a town, so I think we're good. Those guys are getting rid of all these trees, getting all the resources out the way. And then once this is built, we can go ahead and split it again, because we're at maximum capacity now. Uh, compacity? Did I really just say that? I don't know. Who knows? Uh, we can probably get a couple more houses in here as well. So cool. It looks like all we have left are some resources to be brought to it and to uh, get it building. So that's cool. Let's go ahead and let's go check up on our gatherer's lodge up here. Our hut, whatever. Uh, the season's doing pretty good so far. Reserve on logs is low. Yeah, we're about to get a little surplus, so I think we'll be okay for now. And then we can get these guys to remove all these trees. And these whole trees. And all these trees. Just get them out of my life. <laughs> and that, that should help a bit. Alright guys, welcome back. So, they've got this pasture done now. So we're going to go ahead and bump this up to one out of two. And we're going to go ahead and split these so we can get those two working in comparison. Why did it just bring me to that person randomly? Oh, I must have clicked on that. There we go. So yeah, they're going to go ahead and split out. We're going to get ten in each. And we're going to keep these at twenty, which should be good. So it's summer now. We'll have to keep an eye on those crops. One, two, three, four, five, six. So what's up with this person? Did he harvest that early? I guess so. Let's go ahead and get these guys to harvest. So it might have been a little bit early there, but hey, what can you do? <clears throat> uh, just berries, corns, and onions. Not interested. Sorry. Alright. Feeling pretty good about that. So this will hopefully be able to... Uh... <laughs> Sorry. <I> just <laughs> looked over my other monitor at a Skype message. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> uh, so yeah, as you can see, guys... Uh is that the storage barn is slowly getting some things taken out and things are being put in here. The storage capacity on the market is much, much, much higher. So, as you can see, this thing is dwarfing the storage barn. <clears throat> now, some things may still use the storage barn, such as these uh, huts up here and stuff, because this isn't in their range. But that's all fine. So, this will help us uh, get a little more compact storage. So, let's go ahead. Let's check up on this guy real quick. So, he is, well, it's only late summer, <clears throat> but uh, he's doing pretty good so far. I guess we'll see. Anything going on down here? Not really. These guys are all just clearing these trees out so we can get plenty of logs. We have plenty of firewood for the winter. Let's see. What do we really need? We need some iron. We're sitting at that much coal. Let's go ahead and get these guys to switch over to iron. Because we're only at 60 so far, so we could really use with some extra iron. And you know what? Let's go ahead. Let's add another miner there as well. That'll be cool. Be cool, cool, cool. And we got plenty of stone. I mean, there's no, like, real iron mine. Like, obviously, this does iron and coal. But, like, if we were to look here and we get a quarry, that just gets stone. So that's not something we really need at the moment. And we're still doing pretty good on herbs, and uh, our happiness is down a little bit. But I don't know if there's much we can do about that. It may just be... Oops, I closed that. There we go. So how are these guys doing? It's autumn, and they're still working on harvesting, so hopefully they have enough time. There we go. Alright, let's see. That's Forrester Lodge. He's working away. That's all good. So, yeah, this is pretty much uh, where we're at at the moment. Um, I'm real careful. I don't want to really do anything else much, like, drastic. Because, like, the problem I always run into is that I get bored and I start expanding my city. And then I can't keep up with <laughs> the production. So, what's going on over here? Not much. So I'm not sure. We we may do this town just a little bit longer. I forget what episode we're in now. I forgot. Um, but we may end up starting a new city here pretty soon. We'll probably start with uh, 
with uh, less than whatever starting conditions we started with. But what we can go ahead and do, let's build a couple more houses. Let's see. There we go. Just get three more houses going here. <clears throat> and that will uh, help our population a little bit because we're at 55 adults, 9 students, and 13 children. This guy's actually producing alcohol now. So, oh, 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 oh it's winter time. How are we doing on food? 3,000. Not bad. Not bad at all. These guys are slowly reproducing. This is going to help a lot with our food. Uh, once we actually get it established and going, it will be a God sent gift. So, what's going on over here? Berries, onions. I'm trying to see. I don't know. He doesn't look like he's doing too hot. Maybe it's because that's just such an old gatherer set. I'm pretty sure that was our first one. So, I don't know if it would work better for a gatherer like right here. Like, let's see, how's this guy doing? You're not even doing that great <clears throat> so far. But I guess we'll see. What's our logs at? Really? 200? No, dude, you need to get to work. Because we're not going to have that many logs that long. As soon as we start building stuff. Oh, wow, this house has popped up quick. Oh, yeah. Oh, jeez, robbing the cradle, dude. <laughs> let's see. What else can we do? We can maybe expand a little bit more. Let's, uh, let's bring this road down here, and let's get one more house, and let's see if it instantly gets filled up again, because this is where we got to be careful, we don't want to just, you know, we don't want to bite off more than we can chew, really, so I guess we'll see in a second, uh, who's going to be put into it. Any second now, just waiting on builders. I think these guys, yeah, they're working on this road real quick. And as soon as they're done with that, they'll come build this. Oh, no, here we go. We got two people working here. So, yeah, wow, it got instantly filled up. <clears throat> so maybe we should go ahead and make another house, and let's see. Let's see if this one gets instantly filled up as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I see one couple already. I see two. This one's probably going to get instantly filled up too. I have a feeling. It's just I'm not really sure if our food situation at the moment is good enough to expand any further. Like honestly, these one, two, three, four, five houses may that may put us in a bit of a hole, honestly. That's what I'm kind of afraid of. So let's see, is this one going to get instantly filled up? Yep. It's older couples, too. Hmm. Yeah, I think we need to, uh, I think we need to work on our food situation a bit more, because we're going to have to keep expanding. So, hey, dudes, why don't y'all come get that big old patch of iron? And, uh, let's see, where do these guys let off at? So we would have to put them out more over here, which is a very long way away from. I think we'd be better off going up here. So let's see. As for our food situation. Let's see. Uh, gatherer's hut. So where would we have to put it? Right up here. And we might as well put a hunting cabin here as well. There we go. And if we go ahead and build a house, or not a house, a road. There we go. And we'll want to build a house here. There we go. And go ahead and close those, bring those up here. So these guys will get out here slowly and do this stuff. Uh, ooh, we got a merchant. Oh wow, that's a lot of stones. That's going to take a little while. 
I'll get to you in a second, merchant. You can wait. Hold your horses. There we go. So you got corn seeds. No thank you. Alright, how are you guys doing? Good? You're doing good. Okay. So, these guys will slowly start working on this. This is a lot of stuff to clear out. So, how are you guys doing over here? They are slowly working on that. I really think we need to work focus on this stuff up here, though. So if we get our increased priority tool out. And increase those priorities. We'll get all the laborers on clearing out stuff real quick. <clears throat> At least in this area. I mean, we can get the laborers to eventually get around to clearing these stones. Because it's not going to hurt that much from the start. We just really need to get uh, some more food going. Because we're only at 800. Which isn't terrible, but... You know, if we need to keep expanding, obviously, because we're getting lots of uh, instant house <laughs> uh, people in here. And we still got, like, look, here's a 17-year-old and a 12-year-old and 18-year-old. Here's an 11-year-old, 24 and 14. And here's a 24 guy. So, yeah, there's still lots of, like, people who could be moving into houses. And they're going to be very hungry, hungry mouths to feed. So we need to make sure we have enough food to support that. Which I don't believe we're going to have at the moment. To be honest. Now what's our professions looking like? We got 16 laborers. Wow. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's bump you up to four. We'll get four fishermen working there. And that'll help us with food. We're not going to touch y'all. Y'all are fine. You're fine. Let's see, what other kind of food stuff do we have? Fishing, cattle, hunting, gatherer's hut, cornfields, or orchards. Yeah, nothing super great. What we could always do is get another fisherman's hut out here. We could do that. Let's see, where would he have the most water? Right there, maybe? Yeah, let's do that. And we can get a, a road down to him. There we go. Alright, let's bring him over here. We'll get to that eventually. Fishermen don't produce that much resources for us, so they're not a super high priority, but it's always something nice to have. Look, this dude came over here, swung his pickaxe twice, and now he's going to get something to eat. That's the problem with building stuff so far away, is that it ends up taking forever, uh, because they have to travel so far, so then they stop, and ah, uh, oh no, the hunter died of old age. Rest in pieces. Peace. Peace. <laughs> I guess I'm going to cut real fast until they build this stuff, because this is going to take a minute. And I don't want to bore you guys with just staring at grass, so. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. So they finally got this stuff built. Uh, it's been a little longer than since it's built. I was waiting a little bit longer to see if they'd get this house done. But uh, hopefully these guys will live here, because if we take a look at their paths, you can see they have to go quite a while to get home to get food and stuff. So... Yeah, hopefully when we get that house built, it'll help them out a good little bit. So, it's winter now, so let's go ahead. Let's take a look at this guy's uh, results. So, 250, 320, not better. Not better. Not better. Better, actually. <laughs> not better, actually. Whoa, no, that's worse. Yeah, that's way worse. So, I'm not sure. Maybe that was wrong, what I was reading. Uh, maybe it wasn't proven. Someone just said maybe lucky results or something. <laughs> So these guys are about to have this house built. We can see who's going to move in there to see if they... These, uh... There's four people here. There's two each here, so... Unfortunately, I don't think they're all four going to move in there, obviously. So some of these guys are just going to have to keep walking, but... Uh, yeah, we're going pretty good so far. This fishing dock's still not built, of course. Because I've been raising a priority on these things. Uh, but we'll probably focus on that next, so... Okay, Herbalist actually moved in here, who works right here. 
So that's not bad. So let's see, the fishing dock. Let's go ahead and raise priority on that. We don't have a whole lot of time left in this episode. There we go. So we can get that done. And this will help us with our food, of course. And we can go ahead and bump that up to eight, because, yeah, we're not really hurting. We can we can spare four more people, especially when it especially when it comes to food, because uh, we need that more than anything. I also added a couple more stockpiles because we're filling up with uh, stones and stuff, so... And there's 200 iron in just this one. Jeez. There's a lot of iron in all of these. So yeah, we're doing pretty good so far. I'm going to go ahead and switch back to coal. Because uh, we're doing so well. Uh, so we could use more coal. We can also use that as, of course, like I mentioned earlier in a previous episode, that we can use that as... Uh, we can use that for... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, firewood <laughs> surplus. Crap, I close that again. There we go. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, it looks like we survived that winter, luckily. And these guys, uh, I brought these guys down a bit uh, because we were running very. We, I think we got low. We got down to like 300 food or something. Uh, we got really, really low, and luckily we we bounced back from it. So very happy about that. But uh, I think that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Unfortunately, we're not going to get that fishing dock built today because it's so so far away. Unfortunately, yeah. So, yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have any feedback or suggestions, it's always very much appreciated down in the comments below. Anything you want me to try or anything that you might think might help our Let's Play here. Uh, I'm always very appreciative of any help I can get. If you guys did enjoy this video, uh, likes and such are always very much appreciated. And I will see you guys next time. Meow. <laughs>